My wellies are going to smell. I'm going to get told off when I go home. Right guys, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping safe and well. So I'm on my way over to see my cousin Will over at his farm this morning. There's something quite interesting going on. Basically, there's a local power plant that takes supermarket waste, ferments it, turns it into methane, which then produces electricity, so green energy. And then the leftover byproduct is like a brown soup that's you know packed full of stuff nitrogen phosphorus potassium all the stuff you need to grow a crop so that's what's happening today over at Will's place he's having a load of that stuff spread on some of his fields it sounds like a fairly big operation so I'm gonna go over this morning check it out see what the crack is and learn a bit more about it all right here we are so they've got a very very long pipe going all the way down the track here. Crikey, yeah. It's a very long pipe. Good timing, that's Will's up ahead. Hi Will. Hey Nick. How we doing? Good man, how you doing? All good, come to see what's going on. Teddy's just barking, hey Teddy. Hey Teddy. Ted, Ted Hill Farms. Ted Hill Farms. Um, I mean, look, there's gonna be some guys up there who regularly spread slurry and they're gonna be like, this is all old news to us. But to us, here it wasn't something that happens very often quite cool yeah, it's something yeah. i don't know much about so it's always good to learn about stuff yeah that's it yeah, see yeah what's going on this is great this is we can see it over the field here oh yeah i can see him down there yeah going. you can see the steam coming off the back of it yeah that is warm the pipe's super warm so we're here all day then doing how how many they'll be here for a couple of days and we're doing 44 45 hectares hectares like today. and we did what's that an acres will come on i don't know <laughs> you don't know i genuinely don't know i don't know about 100 acres yeah yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Smelly. It just smells vegetable. -y. It doesn't smell that bad actually. It smells no. sort of anaerobic y vegetable. -y. That's yeah. what it smells like. My wellies are going to smell. I'm going to get told off when I go home. You are. Your wellies are going to stink, mate. There's no way about it. You're going to hose them off. I'm going to hose them off. So one application a year. One application a year. Puts enough stuff into the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. it's packed full of organic matter as well. That's brilliant. Like, we have an end planner for our nitrogen. Yeah, yeah. I'm assuming you have something similar. Very similar, yeah, yeah, yeah. There'll be all the end maxes. It'll be all, it's all, it's more above board than when I do it myself. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> what we just forget to put it down. Yeah, 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 yeah. It down. No, no, they do it all for you. Yeah. We're gonna go see the man who knows what's, what's going on. We're gonna on. go see the man. We're gonna go see Rob. He's the guy. He can explain stuff. He can explain Well, you've been explaining it very well, uh, but he... I'm just all excited. So You're just very excited. Uh, I'm, excited. I'm, like, I'm like a Labrador outside, like normal. <laughs> Just keen. This is Rob, he's from Rights Recycling. Yeah. Um, and you're based just in the Northamptonshire, Leicestershire area? Pretty much all over. Just everywhere. So, all everywhere. over. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay, and they all the way up into uh, sort of Yorkshire, down to Essex, oh, right. oh, Norfolk, okay. um, over into Wales. See some interesting kit on your on your Instagram. Yeah. Yeah, I see some big, big yeah, things. So things fortunately we're big enough and like, sort of big enough so we do have the backup of different equipment different farms there's no one fit sort of solution so every farm's different as you guys will know being farmers yourself that's it, yeah, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's it. yeah it's all good and today we're applying um slurry from the um ad plant in rough so it's organic or is it just so it's pas 110 digestate it's derived from the all the feedstock going into it from the foods and drinks industry so it could be from hotels scraps of food domestic sort of all when sorts. you put your yeah put your boxes out your, your food scraps could yeah. be collected um, that all then goes to the plant they will depackage they'll process break it down and then put it into the plant itself the bit what interests me is obviously once they've broke it all down they produce the what is it from fernbrook it's the electricity, it's electricity, electricity yeah. 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 into the grid i think they can power about three and a half thousand homes from that plant itself. Oh, that's Blimey, yeah, that's a loss, guys. <laughs> so it's quite yeah, 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 yeah. just down the road. It's like yes. three or four miles away. Yeah. Which something would have probably gone to the landfill many years ago. Which yeah. Yeah. It's now being used for something. Yes. Yeah. The byproduct yeah. of that then is the slurry that comes at the back end, so it's digestate. Um, it's 
it has been processed. It's got its tickets to say that it is a bio fertilizer, so it yep. meets current specifications. We then go in, remove that from site, and take it to land like we are currently. Right here today, yeah. And that will then go on as well. You, you'll probably see it as a replacement to your nitrogen. I love it. I think it's just great. It's just smell of it. It's like Christmas Day today. <laughs> I thought it, I thought it was going to smell horrible, but it actually no, smells. No, no, you can smell. Right. I remember you saying it to me, and I was like, "How bad is it?" To me, it's not an offensive odor. No, it's to not offensive. some people, it probably is. But yeah. to be fair, you're not going to keep everyone happy. Yeah. No. And as a farmer or a landowner, whatever you do, someone's going to someone's going to complain. You're killing the environment. Someone's going to say something. Yeah. Yes. That's the but problem. In this, in this in instance, we're doing better for the environment because yeah. we're taking a waste product turn it into electricity, and then we're using the waste product from that yep. to fertilize the fields, yeah. to grow crops, to feed people. What you were saying about the rate, it's quite a high rate, so you've got yeah, quite, a lot of, quite a lot of lorries coming in, haven't you then? Yes, so yeah. this would be going on at the moment, we'll be spreading at 30 cubic hectare. Yeah. So on this field, it's 30 cubic hectare, an Arctic carries 27 tonne. Yeah, twenty-seven cube. So it's more than an Arctic hectare. Yeah, that's, so, that's that's kind of crazy, isn't it? Yeah, it's four, forty something hectares here, so it's going to be fifty. Fifty lorries. Fifty loads, I think, have got a tower. But they've not got to travel far, so the carbon footprint on it is low. So that's good as well, yeah, because it's local. Yeah. yeah. On here, we've got the umbilical pump set up by the roadside. Yeah, I saw that when I came down. Yeah. So nice, easy for them, and then we've got, I think, it's about laid out to this field, about a thousand meters of pipe. So, yeah. Up to 1.6. 1.6 is about the limit. About the limit. So that's yeah. insane. After that, it's the flow rate. As I say, the flow is going to be low, isn't yeah, it? So yeah. So it's just not not viable. So 1.6 is your limit. So umbilical kit down to here. He's using a 12 meter dribble bar at the moment. Um, no, it's uh, uh, very very interesting. Yeah. It's something different. Something, something different. Di yeah, yeah. We haven't we've never done anything like this uh, at home. So I uh, thought I'd come and see see what's going on. We'll yeah. be at yours next then. Yeah. You'll be, uh, yeah, you might well be. The fact that Wills is now applying no, you know, uh, inorganic N uh, anymore, yeah. that's... Yeah, yeah. That's or quite, very little if it was... Or very if little, it, yes. It be a winter wheat or something like that. Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the demand for it's probably a bit more, isn't it, for a winter yeah. wheat, but yeah. Yeah, cracking on. Cracking on, yeah. Just seeing a class is something special. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Because you just—I don't know anybody who runs a class tractor. I know Robbins. <laughs> you know, you yeah, you run a class. I mean, we've got a class uh, combine. Yeah, yeah. We've got a Lexian, but um, yeah, don't know much about the tractors really. No, we live in a very insulated world. <laughs> I just like the old Fords, don't I? Will? You just like the old Fords. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers for uh, all the info. It's uh, it's fascinating. Yeah. Yeah. Really interesting. Thanks for turning up, man. Thank you for having us. No worries. <laughs> Christmas Day for me. I'm well up. <laughs> Christmas Day for you. Day. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Will's got quite a good thing going on there. Obviously, the biggest thing is he doesn't have to put bagged in on, so there's definite cost saving there and time saving there as well. So 
it's fantastic really i mean i um you know i've learned a lot just by coming up this morning and talking to rob he seems like a very knowledgeable bloke seems to uh enjoy what he does as well so yeah it might be a uh, you know worth picking his brains a bit could consider doing something similar at home but yeah i mean we've never done anything like this um at home so i don't know food for thought it's always interesting to go and learn you know about different things and see different things because we were just saying off camera a minute ago before i sent the drone up how every farmer and every farm is different and there's no sort of right or wrong way of doing things you know everybody's got their own ideas their own goals what they're all aiming for so um yeah it's just good to you know come and see different things learn different things pick people's brains but um yeah this is something i'm quite you know um interested in now so you never know might uh look at doing something similar at home at some point well, it looks like we've got a bit of sunshine now shades are going on so i'm just gonna head home get some lunch and then i think i'll be making my way back to wills today um i haven't actually got that much going on today i wanted to go spreading but it's a little bit too windy uh wills has asked me if i'd help him do a bit of rolling he's got a bit of spring barley he's just drilled and i think he wants a bit of a hand getting it rolled before the weather changes so after lunch i'll hook the rolls on to the tw the old uh, ford tw with the big terror tires take that over i think will's gonna have his rolls on his 6640 so there'll be two fords rolling in the same field that'd be pretty cool are on let's go a bit of a beast to take down the road yeah i'm always happy to help wheels out i know they do the same for me it's the way it should be i suppose that's any excuse to spend an afternoon in the t-dubs one ford two fords he's got the 6640 out on jewels Looks good. Shall we go rolling? Yeah, it's too windy to talk. Too windy to talk, let's work. You come here to help me, let's get it done. Let's get it done. Let's get it done. All right, I'm gonna follow Will once he stops taking photos of me. I'm massively overlapping that. put these margins in these grass margins for turning on to save on compacting the field living the dream two fords one field i was thinking about bringing the tm but i'm glad i bought the t-dubs i think it looks good with the 6640 but like Dad always says, they really don't make them like they used to. Won't take long to knock this back. Obviously, I've got bigger rolls. Bigger than yours, Will. But yet, two of us going at the same time. Definitely get it done quicker. One of my favourite jobs, rolling. Especially in the TW. Nice, simple, easy job. But I've definitely gone a bit wonky. I'm blaming Wills, taking lots of photos on his phone, not concentrating. I mean, I'm following him, so if the line's wonky, unless I'm making the lines wonky, following him, and then he's following my wonky lines. Oh, I don't know. Let's just blame Will, it's easier. <laughs> 
dual forwards. You ready? I think his is harder to put into gear than mine. Good, he's going. Right, we've got two forwards on the go, rolling. Last week I planted some spring barley. Um, it's lovely, gorgeous and dry today. I've got Nick here to help me out. He's brought another Ford. So we've got two Fords on the go, both with nice big wide fat tyres. Mine aren't quite so wide as his, they're just jewels. Two sets of Opico rollers. Um, this is us going old school, man. This is a nice big field, it's a 60 acre field. It's awesome to see Nick out in the TW20. This is, this is basically the setup that we would have had 30 years ago on his farm. My family's farm up. Here's my granddad's farm, this is pretty awesome. Um, we started with this 664, he used to roll with us all the time. These are the rolls we started with the first thing that we bought after our spearhead topper with a set of rolls back then. Nick's dad, he did uh, a lot of our drilling of all our environmental stuff because he ran that, he, he uh, contracted the farm. Um, but his rolls were too big. So the first thing we did, we bought this tractor and then we bought those rolls. Um, and then we just got from there, man. We never needed big ones. Six meters, perfect for our farm. I think this is 10 meters, although he'll have probably told you that himself. Or he'll correct me. I want to get this compacted in, preserve the moisture, um, get these plants up and away uh, while there's still some moisture in the ground before it gets too dry later on in the spring. I was a bit worried about the world. The weather's going to do later on this week. So that's what we call Dick on over. Do you not just love his tractor? Those wheels are ridiculous. Yeah! Ted's now looking at Nick. Like, who's that in the field? Yeah, Nick and out. tendency to um, let the wheels down they sort of drop down a little bit so every now and then I just pull it back on the hydraulics well it's been a good day we're nearly done here now another 15 minutes or so we'll have this wrapped up but yeah it's been a really good day um, that slurry this morning that digeste it's really good stuff you know the plant where it comes from they're powering houses three and a half thousand houses and then the byproduct is being used to improve the land and help food grow. I mean, it's win-win, that is. So I'm definitely going to look into that a bit more, I think. It might be, you know, something really worth doing. I think Wills has got the right idea there, especially with the price of the bag of nitrogen as it is. We've just had another load delivered. And, yeah, the price has gone right up. So definitely food for thought there. But, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to end the video here camera is about to run out of battery so yeah if you've enjoyed the video today guys please be sure to give it a massive thumbs up and if you want to see more hit subscribe and tap the little bell as well to get notified when I upload a new video so take it easy stay safe and we'll see you in the next one cheers guys